Right, welcome to Falcon Blues TV, the Burnley preview. Uh, tomorrow at uh, away, another away game. Yeah, we saw we you know we saw what happened on uh, Sunday against West Ham. Finished two one in a game that we actually Everton went too bad. Everyone said you know it was a lot more of a competitive game until we went down to ten men. And again, it was mistakes that cost us. You know, a silly foul from Mason Holgate. Uh, you know when. Uh, just a brain fart of comedy of errors between Keane, Iwobi and the defence for the second. And this is, this you know, I'm, I'm sick of saying it. I could write the script on this because I've said it every week. I've said it when I've been on, you know, newscasts and I've been on, like, likes of talk sport. It's all been down to silly, stupid mistakes with Everton. And tomorrow is probably bigger than Coventry. Bigger than that commentary game, which we all know. We all know about that commentary game. We all know how bad Everton have been and what we're up against. I think tomorrow though is more a must not lose rather than a, a must win. I think you know if we if we can get salvage a point away from home, which is something we haven't done all season. It's you know it, it's a point. You know we we haven't we haven't Everton's biggest problem is we haven't actually picked up any kind of point. We we've won the odd game, but then. We haven't we haven't drawn we haven't picked up a point we haven't kept a clean sheet somewhere and gone all oh, right nil nil um I think a lot of Evertonians would go if you give me nil nil we'll bite your fucking hands off for it I would I would certainly take nil nil tomorrow um because Burnley are no great shakes Burnley are struggling as well just as badly as Everton you know thankfully they had a bad result against Man City at the weekend ours as I said a, a, a moment ago wasn't as bad as. You know, recent weeks we we lost, yeah, but we for a lot for a bigger period we looked the better side and we looked capable of either getting the results or getting something out of the game. So you know, I'm I'm confident going into this, but again, it's an away game, so you can write the script on it to say whether it's going to be, you know, whatever Everton shows up, it's it's either going to be a you know six goal thriller or it's just going to be a peter out to a nil nil draw, and I think both sides will take it at the moment. Um, team news, obviously Michael Keane's going to be suspended, so that brings that probably brings in Jared Branthwaite, because Jenny Mina is still made of Balser and Chewy, and isn't coming back anytime soon, probably another week off. Fabian Delph is just... Fabian Delph. What more can you say about that? Um, Nathan Patterson has just been dreadfully unlucky with now needing an operation on, on the ankle that he uh, you know picked up an injury, I don't know if it was at the weekend, maybe before uh, the West Ham game. But now it's he needs an operation, so the lads will actually never see the Premier League until the summer. Donny van der Beek, whatever happened to him uh, in training, is now out tomorrow as well, and hopefully he's back for the well, he's, and he's out for the United game. So all right, he's got a two week rest now. But Jesus Christ, if it just goes from bad to worse for Frank Lampard most of the time, and I, I just don't know what. To think with this Everton side, you tell me in the comments what you're thinking because there's just so much of Everton that you, is so is so wrong and so just crap. You know, there's not a like it hasn't got a, a likable facet of of this football club. The fans are the only ones holding this together at the moment because the players are just bleh. um. So I don't know. I think I think, like, like I said, I'd, I'd be I'd kill for a point, and uh, you know I'd, we'd be over the moon for three points. I think that the the travelling fans going tomorrow have just got to make it as loud as possible for Everton for the Everton team, and I, I I can't talk anymore about it. We've got no bloody players, no 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 decent form, nothing to really sing about and say yeah this is a great Everton side because this Everton side piss poor. We all know. But we just got to just get on with it, and I think at the moment, pick up whatever kind of point we can get on the road, and I think tomorrow start it starts tomorrow. We've got to get something out of it. Like I said, it's not it's not a must win. It's just a must not lose. So I'll I'll set I will go for, you know I'll go for a draw. But I'm not predicting any scores because who knows what happens with this Everton side. You know Calvert Lewin and Richardson have got to get the shooting boots on. Alex awobi has got to get over that. Brain fart, if you like, from um, from Sunday, 
and playing playing the style that he played because he was really effective. He was he was, he was playing really well. You know, we got a lot of praise for it. Um, the back four pretty much writes itself unless Seamus Coleman comes back in for John Joe Kenny. If he does, then Michalenko's at left back. Mason Holgate and Ben Godfrey at centre half. Maybe him bring in Jared Branthwaite. I don't know. Maybe move Mason Holgate into the centre midfield. You know, Allen's it. Allen's still out. So you know, it's Decore and Gomez. It why not make it Decore and Holgate? I don't know because I don't think uh, I don't think there's players there that are prepared to do it. I think I think there's there's a lot of players there. You just got to think. Well, you've got to step up now and show yourself and be accountable. And tomorrow, given that given that performance on Sunday, we we'll let's be honest, we were unlucky, very unlucky in the in the end. Given that result, we should get something out, something out of this tomorrow, and hopefully we do. But let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully, you know I'm I'm still trying to plan on getting a ticket and get me get me asked down there. Paul's going to be there because he still got the ticket from last time. Um, but yeah, give us your thoughts in the in the comments on what you think, whether you know on the results or how we think we're going to get going to set up. Until then, up the fucking toffees, Colin Chong, all that. See you in a bit. See you after Burnley.